the Renewable Fuel Standard, or RFS, was created by Congress in 2005 to cut greenhouse gas emissions, expand the renewable fuel sector, and reduce our reliance on foreign oil. The RFS currently mandates that 36 billion gallons of renewable fuels be used in the U.S. by 2022. This is a 400% jump from previous standards. Today, over 90% of renewable fuels in the U.S. come from corn-based ethanol. The corn ethanol industry to date has received over $87 billion in subsidies from U.S. taxpayers. Despite spending billions in taxpayer subsidies on ethanol, the reality is that these policies benefit a small number of connected industry leaders at the expense of American families. A recent study by the Institute of Political Economy at Utah State University shows that even residents of the American Corn Belt have been negatively impacted by the RFS. In these areas, unemployment recovery has lagged behind the rest of the U.S., while per capita income has fallen nearly 20% more than the country as a whole. When coupled with the larger economic realities of higher corn and gasoline prices, it is clear that the RFS and its its current form is undesirable. Learn more by visiting strata.org slash RFS.